is officially one of the noisiest car parks we've ever stayed in. That was the last thing I expected to do. We did hear about 20 minutes ago this massive, it was like a scream. Are you going to tell them? Or should I tell them? Or do you, what do you two want to tell them? Scout, we need a drum roll, please. We need a drum roll. Our shipping at the van. For those of you who are new here, we're Cheska and Ben. We're a couple from the UK who have spent the last two years living and travelling in our camper van, Sophia. Since 2019, we've built a home on wheels from scratch, taken her from Portugal to Sicily, picked up one little hitchhiker, Meat River, ripped her van apart, and we built her again completely. We've just spent the last six months road tripping through Turkey where we picked up our second little hitchhiker, Scout. Now we're in Greece, getting ready to head back home, ready for a brand new trip. Stick around to the end to see what 2022 holds for us. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. It's snowing. I was not expecting to wake up to snow this morning. That is the last thing I expected to do. Thankfully though, it's not settling. I think it must have rained this morning as well. because It's not settling, which is great. Good morning, guys. We are in a place called Panorama. We're just outside the Greek city of Thessaloniki. The reason that we're here is this is where River got her EU pet passport. So we're gonna head back to the same vets and fingers crossed that they can get Scout his EU pet passport too. Hopefully by the end of this week, we're gonna be in Bulgaria. So it's going to be a busy week. First stop is the vets. Let's get you a little passport, shall we, Scout? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. This, is... this is officially one of the noisiest car parks we've ever stayed in. I forgot how noisy it was from when we stayed here like six months ago. So many dogs barking all the time. There's like diggers and like dumper trucks around here. There's a coach thing next to us. Cars coming and going. Look, this wild boar, the side of the road. What we need? Everything we need, let's go get an EU passport. The vets was a success. Scout has now got his EU pet passport. Could not recommend that vets enough. The two vets that we've met there, one's lived in Liverpool for a few years, the other one's lived in Bristol. They speak perfect English. They are the loveliest, loveliest people. I um, highly recommend them. If you are in Greece and you need a vet, I'm going to put a link to them in the description because I just think they're awesome. To celebrate, we've been to the bakery. Yes, come on! Food, 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 food! Basically like a cheese pita. Mmm. There you go. So we've driven an hour's north from Thessaloniki now. We've come to a place called Lake Kinney, which isn't too far from the Bulgarian border. It's this huge lake and it's really big for migratory birds. You can see flamingos here. They've also got water buffalo, so. As in, as in like water buffalo like we saw in Vietnam? Like the yeah. big water buffalo? Water buffalo, yeah. Like, and donkeys. Donkey. Or is that a horse? That's a <laughs> I don't think Ben believes me that there's water buffalo here. I didn't think you got water. I didn't realise there was water buffalo in Greece. There's a water buffalo in Derby who's called Oink. And he... There's not a water buffalo in Derby. There was. There's one called Oink. He lived at Dali Abbey. Do you not believe so. me? No, I don't. I think so. He's pulling your leg. Oh my god. Seriously. Have you seen it with your own eyes? Yes, I have stroked it. As in the massive water yeah, buffalo. Yeah, right, so I'm from Derby, right, and there used to be a water buffalo that lived in this little place called Dali Abbey. He was called Oink, and unfortunately, rest in peace, he passed away a couple of years ago. Ben doesn't believe me that he's a water buffalo. He wasn't like wild or anything, but he was a water buffalo. And they have water buffalo here, and Ben does not believe me. Buffalo over there, and unicorns. Keep an eye, there's some unicorns around here. Some velociraptors, T-Rexes. Yeah. Slight right, then your destination will be on the right. It's just here. Oh, yeah. No water buffalo in sight, we pulled into a village square to top up our water tanks, ready for a couple of days by the lake. Just saw a sign on the road for water buffalo, so I might need to take that back what I said. You might be right, there might be water buffalo. Oh, look, look at the stork nests. Yeah, here you go. Stork nests. 
God, we saw loads of them in Portugal, do you remember? Yeah, and Spain. Oh, look, the first place has been open. Well, this is it. Okay. Your destination is on the right. Oh, this isn't bad. We were hoping for a lakeside view, but it is so boggy. We found this hard standing, which is not far from the lake. It's actually really nice. It'll do us perfectly for yeah. a couple of nights. So we just parked up on these like huge wetlands just on the edge of the lake. It's, it's so nice, peaceful isn't it? here. It's completely surrounded by mountains. I mean, they're all covered in cloud at the minute, but um, fingers crossed tomorrow, the clouds clear. And hopefully fingers before crossed. we leave, we have to go on a mission to find some water buffalo. Yes, well, I've seen <laughs> the sign for water buffalo. They're definitely here. They're definitely. Here. They're just really small. Wow. Imagine this, when it, well, hopefully tomorrow when it's cleared up. We never even realised, we were like, oh, bastard little mozzie. To be honest, looking at the ground around here, Real there's up. probably going to be a lot of mozzies. I didn't even realise the mountains around here. Wow, look at that bird. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Morning, River. Yeah, you're being such a good boy, not jumping out. Two dogs that did not sleep very well last night, did they? Hey? This one didn't. Scout was. Barking at Scout the owls. Barking at the owls. And then when Scout was barking, which sets River off, and River was trying to look out the window. Hmm? Yes. Hmm? So. We thought it'd be nice and peaceful here. We have a bulb out. I need to change that. The brake light bulb is out. So we'll change that obviously before heading into Bulgaria. We'll do it now. Should we do it now? Should we do it now, guys? You're going to jump in my face, aren't you? It's annoying. We can unclip it and the door swings right out, but because we've got the wheel mount on there, We'll just smash against here because we had to take the second um, hinge out when we mounted it. That's why I'm not opening it all the way around. And you can rock and roll with the attitude. So good, so fresh, just the way you like. Oh, looks like that one's the blown one. Trusty spare bulb kit. I can't get into. There we go. That's it. Done. Just the way you like it. Done, done, done. Just the way you like it. Yeah, working. So yep. Yeah. Today we are on a mission to find these bloody water buffalo. I read last night that there's about 2,000 water buffalo here. The sun is shining, it's a gorgeous day. I think we can drive around the whole circumference of the lake. I want to find water buffalo and I want to see some flamingo as well. Is there anything else that we want to see? Is there anything you want to see? Um, We're going to try and find, find a nice spot for lunch. And this is our last day in Greece before we cross into Bulgaria. So we're just going to have a nice little explore of the lake, see what's around, have some lunch. Probably come back here to sleep tonight because it was so nice. Yes, yeah. Apart from the owls, keeping these ones awake. Despite a chill in the air, the sun was warm and we could just about feel the stirrings of spring in the air. Scout is that annoying child that you take to the toilet before you leave, you say, do you need the toilet before we leave? Say no, and then two minutes in, I need the toilet! <laughs> what are these guys running back for? We should park up there for lunch. Oh really? So many birds. There's like the massive the, like pelicans. Okay. Like the massive beaks. And there's like hundreds of birds. Is the road okay to drive up? Yeah, and it's a bit, it's a dirt road, but we'll make it. And you could park up there and then reverse back to come back down. Okay. But um, there's no water buffalo. But it's an amazing view of the lake. Okay. And there's loads of birds. We just parked up right on the top of the lake for lunch. So many birds! You've got the cormorants nesting in the trees. There's these huge, pe is it pelicans? I'm sure it's pelicans, with a massive long beak anyway. And right next to where we're parked is a little bird hide. How cool is this? 
We enjoyed a quick lunch overlooking the lake, taking refuge inside from all of the flies that decided to swarm the van, before heading back onto the road in search of flamingos and water buffalo. Okay, so we think we can see flamingos just on this point over here. So we're going to get as close as we can without scaring them. Are there flamingos? I don't know. Shall I go? Yeah, but don't scare them. And okay. then let me know. And then okay. No. No flamingos. Just loads of pelicans and the taller thin birds. They're not flamingos, I'm afraid. No. They look pink from here though. I know. You go and get closer if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna argue. It's the, the, the beaks make it look pink, but it's not. Oh, is it a beaks you can see, not yeah. the pink feathers, damn it. That was so magical. This lake is so stunning. I can't imagine how amazing it's been here in the summer. But we uh, attracted the attention of some cows and those cows have four big protection dogs with them. So we're trying to quickly, without running, <laughs> get as far away from them as we can. Come on, scout this way quickly. Oh, that cow's gone really quickly. Look, it's over the brow of the hill already. It's like that video of that cat, you know, where when you look at it, it stays still and then you look away and you look back and he's closer to you. That's legit what that cow is like. Come on, Scout, quickly. Back in the van. Back on the hunt, but I've got a feeling I'm not going to see any flamingos, if I'm honest. I don't think we're going to see any flamingos and I don't think we're going to see any water buffalo. Unfortunately. Maybe it's not the season it for might them. not be. I think the water buffalo and the flamingos are off on their holidays, probably getting some winter sun. Yeah, I know Scout. Oh, Scout, what's wrong we, with that, buddy? <laughs> we didn't get a chance to see them, but back at this little spot, wow. What a gorgeous evening. Oh, God, I'm going to park a little bit, the sun is, Whoa, the sun is shining. Nice. The weather is, don't know what the next line is. Sweet, how do you know No, that? the weather is sweet. Oh, no, is it? Yeah. It's Makes you want to move. Your dancing feet. Here I am. We settled in for our last night in Greece, enjoying the quiet peacefulness of Kikini Lake until nightfall rolled around. So we're gonna go and take the dogs out for a walk. We did hear about 20 minutes ago this massive it was like a scream. Oh, wailing, wasn't it? Like I thought it was wailing. kids playing. It's either like kids screaming, but there's we're literally in the middle of nowhere. Or like a fox maybe. So we're gonna go and walk the dogs in the pitch black with some weird screaming noise outside, which is always fun. It is fairly well lit here, which is a good thing. You can see there's all street lights all up to the main road. Yeah, if when Scout can smell boar, if there's been wild boar around, he just like goes on to super wired, high alert <laughs> phase. Yeah. And he is just, you cannot get him to break his like focus. River can't give a crap, she's just sniffing everything. It's um, it's a very, very quiet village. There's a few houses here and there with lights on. I wonder if a lot of these are maybe some like second homes or holiday homes for the lake in the summer maybe. But it's very quiet, it's a little bit of a... It's like a ghost town. It's a little it? bit eerie to walk around in the pitch black, that's for sure. Yeah, because I, I would say probably 80% of the houses are empty. That wasn't too bad, there were no creepy wailing noises. When we were out, which was good. Also, let me show you this. Every time I stand in the kitchen bit, I think, like on the wooden floor, I keep thinking I'm standing in like water because it's really cold on my foot. I'm like, oh no, you know, it's a horrible feeling when you stand in water, you get your socks wet. Anyway, I've just had a look and it's not water. <laughs> look at the size of that. You have any That's... bottoms on your socks? I've got no, basically got no heel. That's pretty gross. Pretty disgusting, isn't it? I don't realize it was that big actually until now. Oh my god, this one's got two! <gasps> Bloody hell, I'm basically wearing fishnet stockings, babe. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to Bulgaria today! 
coffee for the road. Should we go to Bulgaria? <laughs> Come on then, let's go to Bulgaria. Goodbye to one of our, that was one of our favorite park ups, so it was so nice. And you've got this beautiful like mountains as you backdrop. In fact, isn't that what we're crossing over pretty much? Uh, yeah, I think so. We're going right and then we cut through, I think. Right, here we go. Okay, right. Border crossing. Right, let's go past. So car, car and Yeah, we want to just follow the signs of the car and then. A little bit of a queue to leave Greece. There's all the lorries. And yeah, just wait for this to go, I think. It looks like the Greek and Bulgarian like passport checks are in the same little porter cabin. Like from what, like the next window is one. Win this window is Greece. The next window is Bulgaria. Normally they're like completely different buildings. Oh, you got a ring. There we go. There we go. <laughs> okay, well that's it. We're in Bulgaria. Very, very straightforward border crossing. Just to check. There's water buffalo. There's oh my god. Water buffalo. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's water buffalo. Oh my god, that's where they are. I can't yeah. believe you, that, you won't be able to see that on camera. See it out on the holidays. The holiday in Bulgaria. We're on skiing holiday. There's loads of them. But they are quite far away, but you can definitely hear it's water buffalo. See, I told you they had them. Awesome. Anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> so I asked on Instagram for your Bulgaria recommendations and a load of people said these hot springs, which are just over the border. It's also a spot on park for night. So we're gonna go and check it out and maybe have that as our first day in Bulgaria. One of the comments said that there's apparently a lot of stray dogs here. So we're gonna go and set it out, see what it's like. It's still really early. It's like 10 to 10 in the morning. Um, so yeah, we've got plenty of time to find something if this one doesn't work out, but I think this is the hot springs. Okay. <laughs> Lots of dogs. <laughs> wow, lots of dogs. Wow, 15 dogs. There's two really old, angry dogs that have come from this. There's like a construction site. They're building like a couple of houses up there. And there's like 12, 10 dogs that are, you might be able to see. There's a ca caravan over there. I reckon he lives here. And there's just like loads <laughs> over there. There's one that Scout and him didn't really have an agreement. We had a bit of a disagreement. But generally but they're okay. Generally they're fine though. I think it's just because these are new dogs here, aren't they? So they're like, oh, who are these? Let's go and see them. And you guys don't speak big Bulgarian. <laughs> Those dogs don't speak Turkish and they don't speak English. So, or Welsh, I should say. <laughs> so there's a bit, of, a bit of a communication breakdown. <laughs> 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 Okay, so we are officially in Bulgaria. We've now left Turkey, we've left Greece, and we're actually on our way back home. And we're probably gonna be back home in about six weeks. So we've now got our Schengen allowance back, which means we can spend a full three months back in the EU. So you might be wondering, why are you guys not doing that? And why are you rushing back to the UK? But there is method in our madness. Yep, see the river just banged her head, sorry. <laughs> Since November last year, We've been starting to plan an epic trip for the summer this year. Are you going to tell them? Or should I tell them? Or do you, what do you two want to tell them? Scout, we need a drum roll, please. We need a drum roll. Okay, oh, yeah, go on. Are shipping the van to Canada? Yes, we are Canada. leaving Europe and heading to Canada. Heading stateside. Yeah, so we're planning to drive from Canada all the way across the states into Mexico and that is what we've been working on for the past few months. So we've been sorting out shipping the van, we've been sorting out insurance for the van in the states. Just going to spot something outside. We have also been sorting out flights for the four of us because of course these two are coming as well. Uh, and we've also been sorting out the final stages of our 10 year B2 visa or tourism visa for the US. Everything is now penciled in to leave middle of July. Yeah. 
which is why we're rushing back to the UK now to get everything prepped. We've got appointments back home, we've got lots of family and friends to go and see before we leave because this is going to be a much bigger trip and yeah we absolutely cannot wait yeah, we're so it's... excited so the trip is kind of split into two legs leg one is we're going to spend about three months in canada we're going to go down the eastern seaboard at the states and the southern states up into california to go and see your brother who you yeah. haven't seen in like three or four years then into mexico and then if everything goes to plan if everything is good we then would love to do the Alaska to Argentina Pan American Highway. So we knew that this year we wanted to do a massive trip outside of Europe and as you know last year our plans were to drive to South Africa. That's still not possible so we are going to flip our plans around and we're going to do the Kelsey Canada to Argentina first. Yeah this trip was always on the cards just and there's a, there's a few like big trips around the world that we'd love to do. Whatever order we do them in we don't mind so this year Yep. We're going to try and head to Canada. It's the only one we can do. <laughs> Pretty much. We can't, we can't go down to South Africa and we definitely can't drive east. No, but this one will be yeah. um, like, it's all amazing. And we just, yeah, like I said, wanted to do a big trip outside of Europe, push ourselves a little bit. And we're just really, really excited. Yeah. yeah. So that's why we're heading, heading back home. Our plans now for the next six weeks are very fluid. It's very weather dependent. We're in Bulgaria at the moment. Oh yeah, our plans for going back. Exactly, yeah. We're in Bulgaria at the moment and we're going to be here for the week. Then we, uh, fingers crossed, we're going to go into Serbia for two weeks. Then into Hungary for a week. To Germany for a week and then basically back home. So yeah. we're just, it's, it's kind of country hopping to make our yeah. way back. We're not going to have a huge amount of time to explore a lot in each country. We're probably just going to be able to see what's on the route back. Yeah. Um, but it's still going to be nice to see places that we haven't been to before. Neither of us have been to Bulgaria, Serbia, or Hungary. So oh, I've been to Hungary. I've been to Stagda in Budapest. That does not count. <laughs> no, I it bet, doesn't I count. Bet I bet if we went to Budapest, you wouldn't remember anything. I could tell you exactly where we went. Really? No. I can. Oh, I'd love do to you find. You'd do you think you'd recognise places or not really? I'd reckon. The, I'd recognise the hostel we stayed in. Yeah. Okay. What uh, about the actual landmarks around Hungary? We didn't see Budapest? any. We didn't see any landmarks. And we did like beer bicycle shooting and on the very last day we did like a thermal bath spa thing. It was amazing. It was so good. But anyway, I would digress. That sounds like we should try all of that. I wouldn't mind doing that. No, like never drinking. And Palinka. Palinka is like, it's like a shot. I drank so much that I threw up in the bar. I remember it horrendously. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Let's move away from the story. Um, but yeah, so we are going to make our way back up through Europe, back home, see family, see friends and get ready for what could possibly be the biggest trip of our lives. Yeah, we are just rambling now, but on that note, I think we're gonna leave the video there for this week. Join us next week as we kind of explore Bulgaria for the first time, Yeah. make our way over to Serbia, and yeah, start the journey home. Exactly, and if you're excited about Canada, let us know. Yes, we shall catch you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Look me in the eyes right now, run away with me, or to a place that you thought you never really see. Be looking funny when you're living so free